Students continue to work with the new words they will encounter in their reading. This time, fourth graders use alphabetization to think about their words and then move into some metacognition on their understanding of the words so far. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to lead, lead you guys through these words. Actually, you guys are going to lead yourselves through them. Um, I'm going to give them a quick read through again, but we're going to have a different focus this time. Instead of focusing on the definition, we're going to focus on alphabetical order. That's a different focus, right? Probably easier in some ways. So alphabetical order. And I'm going to read through these again, and your job is when I say go to put them in alphabetical order just by numbering them in the bottom left hand corner put a number one next to the one that you would see first in a dictionary but you can't go until I say go here we go let's give them a quick read through and then we will put them in alphabetical order poignant poignant, poignant. poignant. lush lush lush, lush. Let's put a number in there for the word you think will come first, second. Five, six. Okay, here we go. Um, what I'd like you to do is hold your fingers up when I read the word. Put your fingers up for what number you think that should go in in alphabetical order. So I need your hands free, listening position. As soon as I read the word, I want your hand to shoot up, or hands, for the number you think it may be. Look around. If you agree, you want to see some agreement. If you disagree, we have disagreement. Ready? Poignant. I have some fives and some sixes. All right. Hands down. Saw some disagreement there. We have lush. Lush. Fours and fives. Okay. Gritty, gritty. Threes, threes. I agree with threes. Um, in my opinion, poignant and pavilion are very easy to, um, to disagree on. Why did we disagree on them? Cheyenne. Right, so if you were to give direction to anybody on alphabetical order, what do you do after you find that they both start with the letter P? Um, go, to the next letter. go to the next letter. And so poignant is P and then A. O, and pavilion is P and then A. A. A, comes A comes before O, so that means pavilion should have a five. lower number. And I agree, pavilion is five, and I have poignant as six. Uh, uh, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to read you the words in alphabetical order and after I read them you guys get a 20 second conference you guys get a 20 second conference and in this conference here's what I want to be discussed I want you to discuss if you have a clue as to what this word means you can use the word you can use its prefix its suffix its root you can also use its context um, in your paper where it's circled the words around it, the words before it, the words after it. There's many clues as to what these words mean. Um, and within our teams, we're going to conference and hopefully get a better sense of what these words mean. Ready? We're going to do these in alphabetical order. When I say the word, you are go good to go on a conference. Ready? Word number one, arcade. Go. Arcade. Arcade. I know it because I do play arcade. Yeah, it's basically like the hub. And it holds like quarters. 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 It's sort of petty. Yeah, in this thing it's at a penny, yeah. but it usually takes quarters. Or a dollar. Back in the day, it was always penny. Five seconds. Yeah, because people have that arcade is where there's lots of things. Depression. Time. That's a quick conference. Number two. Number two is everyone. Captivate. Everyone. Captivate. Go conference. Captivate. Captivate. Yeah. 
So it says captivated. So what do you think? Children and adults like were captivated by the giant wooden and roller toaster and all the other stuff. What do you think it might be? Would have fun? Could be have fun. Yeah, they really enjoyed it. Do you see another word inside of captivate? What would a cap? synonym be? There's cap, yeah. But how about captive? Oh, so what's a captive? I'm a pirate and I'm going to take you captive. Um, take them, like put them, like, yeah, just put them in jail or something like that. Okay. Yeah, good, like hold them, right? So if the children and adults are captivated, it means they're, they're held by that. But in a good way, not like a pirate. One, and time. Word number three. Gritty. What? Gritty. Gritty. Three, two, one, conference, go. I don't know. Um, Pointy means like you're right on it, like. Um, like you're on point. Magnificent. Magnificent. Like, like, no, no, like you keep doing it. Like you're on Like the, the right. The right. Because it says uh, the most something. Something, like, something. Go up in your book if you say something, something. Um, what do you think about the spelling of this word? It's a very weird spelling. You would never guess that you would say poignant. Like you? it's like it's like dumb. Like it's dumb spelling. Yeah, it's got a silent letter and it makes you have to look at it twice. Right? Have you ever heard it before? No. Have you ever seen it? I've heard it, but I just never knew what it meant. Yeah, that's one reason I like to read them at the beginning because you might have heard it but not recognize it when you see it. Sponsored by the Montana Historical Society with funding from the National Endowment for the Humanities.